Nollywood veteran actress Genevieve Naji made her first live appearance after being sick for so many months. Guys, do not go anywhere if you want to hear from her directly and the speech that she made. But before then, if you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. And please kindly click the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so whenever I post a new video like this, you'll be the first to watch and be notified immediately. And to my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for always coming back to watch my new upload. So guys, let's dive right in into the main reason for this video. Nollywood actress Genevieve Unanji was invited to the Connecting Africa Creative Economy yesterday as she made her first live appearance since like five months now nobody has heard anything from Genevieve and she was so sick so many things happened she deactivated her instagram page but right now her instagram page is active she even uploaded a photo there so a lot of people are happy and from the video that you guys will be watching very soon a lot of people are suggesting that she's pregnant because she looks so chubby and her tummy was kind of big so some of her fans are congratulating her already that she's pregnant which is not really confirmed but if she's really pregnant congratulations to her but i'm so happy that she's fine now she's looking so so healthy honestly and i pray that god will give her divine earth and may she live long and she's actually working on a movie with ben more bros that's the ceo of silver bed he wrote working on a deal with genevieve so that all our movies will be produced at a bmb studio and film academy at echo atlantic city so she's working on a movie welcome back genevieve and nanji and may god bless you give you good health keep on watching guys to listen to our wonderful speech Chairman of Board of Directors, Sir Frank Zimbang, His Excellency, Professor Benedict O. Orama, the Minister of Culture and Francophone, His Excellency, Honorable Francios Riman, Her Excellency, all ministers present, the Executive Vice President, Intra Africa Trade Initiative, Alfred Zimbang, Mrs. Kanayo Awan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be speaking at Canex Weekend 2022. Thank you for having me. As creatives, we have transcendent borders and our influence is truly global. However, the creative industry remains fragmented, segmented, and unable to scale, at least not in terms of revenues. Africa has a profound, beautiful, and influential cultural legacy a cultural legacy that can be worth trillions. Yet, Africa's share of it is only 1%. And this is where we have the possibility of having the greatest impact. As critical stakeholders involved in the cultural and creative industry, CCIs, we must actively engage on how we leverage or change the existing structures to realize a dynamic creative ecosystem in Africa. By positioning creatives and the creative economy at the center of Africa's development agenda, we set the table for transformational shifts in the continent's ability to create new roles and opportunities for the youth that make up over 60% of its population. It also creates an intentional approach to altering negative narratives often attributed to the continent. As a filmmaker and a key player in the CCIs, I strongly believe that the African creative sector, despite its relative success, is still unable to achieve its true potential. Currently providing 5 billion US dollars in GDP across Africa, the creative sector, if effectively executed, can achieve four times that figure annually. To do this, we must develop collaborative structures that are focused on financing infrastructure development, capacity building, and evidence-based policies for film, 
TV and digital content. This, I believe, is required across all the verticals. But as a film professional, I will speak to and for my sector in the hope that interventions, when created, understand that creativity thrives as an ecosystem and not alone. Let us use this weekend to develop a sustainable value ecosystem that enables the distribution of creative content, services, and products from Africa to the world. Thank you.